we shall now understand the process of this ICLX 100 valve installation. The accessories and one set of ceilings required are supplied along with this valve. Please go through the installation guide before starting the installation process. It is very important to remove the top cover and the function module before the welding process to prevent any damage to the O-rings and Teflon ceilings. The right tools should be used to remove and refix the module. Initially, measure the distance between valve body top and top edge of the top cover. Remove the cap and turn the manual opening spindle in anti-clockwise direction upwards to remove the lock ring and lock washer. Now turn the spindle in clockwise direction to push it downwards out of thread. Unscrew and remove all top cover bolts. Lift the top cover using a screwdriver and remove it from the valve body. Measure the distance between the valve body and module insert top. With the help of a screwdriver, lift the module insert and remove it from the valve body using eye hooks. Place the module insert inside a polythene cover to protect it from the atmospheric dirt. On completion of the welding process, clean the valve body from inside with a clean cotton cloth to remove weld debris and dirt. Check the module thoroughly to ensure that the O-rings are intact. Apply some fresh refrigeration oil to ease the insertion and to protect the O-rings. Now, insert the module carefully inside the valve body using eye hooks. After fixing the module, check the distance between the valve body top and module top. Clean the top cover from inside and ensure that the O-rings are intact. Apply some fresh refrigeration oil to the O-rings. Now, place the top cover in its position Fix the bolts and tighten them to the torque value indicated in the manual. Check the distance between the top of valve body and the top edge of top cover. Use this value to compare with the value measured before dismantling to ensure proper positioning and installation. Use a 4mm screw to pull the manual opening spindle up and fix the lock ring and lock plate. Turn down the spindle to its original position. As the last and final step, fix the red cap to complete the installation process.